Investigators are working to determine why bombs were inside a Sampson County home. Two SBI agents were injured while detonating one of them early Friday. Kayla Strayer joins us live from UNC's J.C. Burns Center, where both men are still recovering from those injuries. And Kayla, what's the latest on their condition? Yeah, so an SBI agent says that both of those men are here at the hospital getting ready for surgeries tomorrow. Tim Looper has second-degree burns and a dislocated shoulder. Brian Joy has third-degree burns. Tonight, I talked with a retired SBI agent who's been out doing what he can to help those families like so many others are doing right now. Um, I realize Retired that. SBI agent Mark Baudet and his son Grayson spent the afternoon doing yard work jumping in to help Brian Joy and his family without being asked as Brian remains in the hospital. Uh, one less thing that he would have to worry about. Mark says he worked with both men for years as SBI special agents. Uh, Brian and Tim are probably two of the most uh, outstanding people that you'd ever want to know. Their injuries happened at this house in Sampson County early Friday as the agents worked to detonate explosive materials. People who are field agents, they're always on call. They're always out there working. So you never know what's going to happen when they get out to a crime scene. At this particular crime scene, bomb-making materials had to be detonated throughout the day. As our cameras captured Friday, it's an intense and dangerous process. Uh, the people who work uh, in law enforcement are some of the most dedicated and most giving people that you'd ever want to know. Uh, they're also willing to, uh, to give you their lives if that's what's, what's required of it. Mark says the law enforcement community will continue supporting the agents as they recover. I think all of law enforcement is a, uh, is a tight uh, community, uh, not only while you're working there, but after you retire as well. Uh, Brian and Tim are probably two of the most uh, outstanding people that you ever want to know. Yeah, we've been hearing so many great things about both of those agents. There is a GoFundMe page set up for the families. At last check, it's raised $15,000 so far. We'll keep you updated on their conditions. Reporting live in Chapel Hill, Kayla Strayer, CBS 17 News.